Hi, this is Kevin with KGM GM, owner of Pro Advertisers Club, a totally free site to advertise. Go to ProAdvertisersClub.com, join for free today and start advertising for free. Okay, today's um, Saturday, January 6th, 24. Uh, going to start off with this new proposal that just popped up, or I just noticed, I don't know, but it says Gladius Stones for Merits. Okay, we get Merits through the chest and through bras, right? And let's see number 64. Let's see what that's all about. Oh, Persian Bloodstones. I think that's like the, uh, yeah, uh, equivalent to potions for use with Gladius. Okay. Uh, I Yeah, why not? I mean, yeah, I, I'm going to vote. Everybody else is voting yes. I'm going to, too. I don't see a harm in that. Uh, these proposals and the ability for us to decide on some aspects of the game is is a big deal uh, for me. Um, the fact that we got any voice in this game, other than just jumping on YouTube and, you know, whatever. But um, to be able to actually vote, like in a democratic process, on the direction the game can go on certain things is, is to me, one of the things that makes the new web3 gaming experience unique and 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 gives me gets me excited for the future on really how this can go as far as the players can actually you know uh, I, I've always thought what if splinter lands went out of business right or, or they couldn't afford to keep the doors open is it set up in a way where the players could take over and run it and we'd pay the bills out of the 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 D, the Dio Deo, however you call it, or or some other you know fund. Um, not in any way is Splinterlands going out of business. I'm just thinking that way. Like, is that possible in this new age of you know blockchain technology and Web three gaming? And I I, I want to say without having any knowledge of blockchain or uh, you know, writing code or anything like that, that it seems to me it would be possible that they they could at that point just either sell it to the players or, or open it up to the players. And I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I'm just saying that's a very poss big time possibility. But anyway, I've spent too much time on this. Let's go to the guild where we are getting ready for another battle. And uh, one of the guild members saw that I had my guy. Uh, I pretty much, I'm taking the what's left over. I'm letting all the other members get what they think they need, and then I'll fill in. And if, like last time, I didn't have a single victory in all three frays. They were all gold accounts, and I don't really have a gold account. I'm rebuilding it, so uh, that wasn't a surprise. But he brought up a good point that I might do better in. Uh, 12, which I got to put, or no, 13, because at least, because the goal that I do have with Tark Habit is Chaos Legion. So at least I'd be a shot of maybe winning. You know, maybe somebody surrenders. Who knows? But um, this one's Rebellion, and I have no Rebellion Goat cards whatsoever. And I'm going to try to change that starting today, and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, but anyway, so we're ready in three hours. Uh, going to put some more DEC, a little bit at a time here. This is what I got yesterday or last night from the other platforms that I play on in the Hive Engine. And then I'm going to sell some cards, of course, to get more. But uh, I've only got 330, so I'll wait. When I get to about 1,000, I'll slap it into the hall or something like that. But uh, we're doing we're doing real good as far as the guild. It's going in the right direction. Um, land, I'm not going to claim today. I'm only at 54%, but just in case you're not aware of this, I have four properties. The uh, The goal is to add one as I need it. Right now, I can't 
fulfill what I got, so there's no sense in, you know, if I saw a good price on a piece of property, I'd probably grab it, but right now I'm just accumulating and building. And um, I'm in no rush for 2.0. Some people are, because the longer 2.0 takes, the, the longer I have to make this right, where I should have been more prepared, but I think like a lot of people, we all f I fell asleep on land. I totally, I just like, okay, whenever. Uh, I'll, you know, and I wasn't paying attention. It came out, and I got caught with my pants down. And the other big mistake I made was I wasn't in a guild, because I, well, I kept getting kicked out of a guild. So I made my own. I should have made my own two years ago. If you're not in a guild, go get in one. If you're not playing Splinterlands, go sign up and play it. It's free, but then you have to pay ten dollars for a spell book to get into the whole platform and do all the stuff that you see me doing. Um, please like and subscribe. Uh, not financial advice, entertainment purposes only. So there's all that. So here we go. Uh, I've got the. You can max out fifty thousand DEC per each property, so that you can get the full hundred percent at that point. But I'm I'm at a hundred percent anyway because the type of cards I got on there allow that. But I I can like in other words, this one's. Lot number three or 47, that's maxed out DEC and card power. But what it's not maxed out on is bonuses, which I would get because those gold legendaries are Chaos Legion and not Alpha or Bravo. So I could be getting a bigger bonus by using Alpha or Bravo. But I've maxed out the 50,000 energy compared to the 50,000 DEC. But the other ones I have not. And you, that can kind of tell you what kind of cards I got on them. Okay. Uh, two, these two produce grain. And this produ the second one here, 46, produces research points. And this one produces SPS. When 2.0 kicks in, SPS is going away. As of right now. You know, unless they change their minds or something happens. But And then I will move the land on something else. But right now, uh, this one, 47 is on a swamp and I will not be able to do grain on a swamp or have a farm on a swamp in 2.0 I'll have to move it to number 13 which is a lake okay and then I'll have to figure out what's going on in the other ones this one is a rare piece of property I got when I bought a unregistered unsurveyed uh, piece of property and ended up getting a rare common and that gives me a 10% bonus on whatever I got going on on the property, which is huge. And once I add a totem pole, that will be 20%, uh, the, the common totem pole. So, uh, and let's see, I'm, I think I'm at 54%. Yeah, I'm at 58 So probably two days I'll be claiming. Any time it goes above 75%, I will claim. And uh, it gives you a better chance if you claim less. It gives you a higher chance. I don't know about better. That's two different things. It gives you a higher chance to get a totem. So I'm wondering, if, is it better to claim, you know, you can claim every hour. And even though the percentage is lower that you get one because you're trying it more often, I, I don't know how to work the math on that. So right now I'm just going to go once a week. So let's go to the battle page. And um, let's go look at... Right now I've got one chest for tonight. I'm barely hanging on to Bronze 2. Or Bronze 3. I'm at the... My next battle, which is coming up any moment now, uh, could knock me back into uh, Bronze 3. Or no, Bronze 1. And I'm on the border. Or hold on. Next. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I'm looking at Modern again. Damn, it does it all the time to me. Okay, I'm in Silver 3. About to go into Silver 2. That makes more sense. I was kind of confused about that. Okay, I got one chest for tonight. 16 for season ending. Let's go look at what I got last night. And here it is. I got... SPS, three cards of the same, that's awesome, and kabam, SPS and cards, so that, that was nice. So now, let's go 
purchase and here's what I meant about uh, it's going to be a little bit different uh, I'm always changing strategy and stuff but I've been getting a lot of Chaos Legion packs and I think they're the best bang for the buck but what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to every third day I'll get Chaos Legion so one day I'll get one pack of Rift Watchers the next day I'll get one pack of uh, Rebellion and then the next the third day I'll get the rest in Chaos Legion and then rotate back uh, I do a $10 DCA a day that's my strategy it doesn't have to be yours it's just I, I want a record of the power of DCA and how you can build it up and and then you can compare it and maybe just tell me what your strategy is maybe you put more maybe you put nothing and um, so let's go to own so right now I'm building up my gold account and this is my best account the KGM jam so what I do is I, I'm purchasing the gold that replaces the common or the, or the regular and pushes that I call it the waterfall strategy down into my next account which replaces that card which pushes it in and so forth all the way through my three accounts I have a total of three accounts all being ran by splinter mate which is a bot it's a dollar a month if it's very easy to use it enables me to go do other things when I want to battle I just take over it's very simple uh, so let's go to gold because I'm right now I'm trying to max I'm trying to max out at third at silver level my summoners because those are the gatekeepers you can't max out without them and let's go to summoners and I am on this one one more so after today it will be maxed out and I'll start on the other one so yeah I got three of them I need one more so let's go to the shop 350 Ooh. now see I'm gonna buy this one with the timer on it if what I found out is if your cards are higher than the one you're combining it overrides that and gets rid of that timer if it's lower it doesn't and I'll show you what I mean and that will save me 30 cents okay make sure I got it on credits bye Okay, see how this has got three in the box and this has got one. Now watch what happens when I combine them. Unless I'm wrong about this. I, I thought that's what was going on. So I'm going to verify this right now. See, it's gone. And I got four in the box. So there we go. That's maxed out for silver level. I still got a long way to go to be, you know, maxed out eight. Because fourth level max is four. And this is a, a, a summoner. And that's the highest you can have in silver one. So five, uh, fifth level for common, fourth level for rare, sec, uh, third level for epic, and second level for legendary. Okay, so, so far so good. So now let's go to the store. And let's go to other items. And I did Chaos Legion yesterday. So what I'm going to do with my remaining balance is get, I, I'm going to get a, I haven't done a rebellion. I did a Rift Watchers the other day. So I'm going to go boom, boom, boom. Okay, buy. And this will help me out in the guild too, because I don't have any rebellion cards hard. I got like five, or maybe twenty. I opened up four packs, I think. Okay, I've got that, and I got enough left for two more. You know what? And then I'll go ahead and get two more. Um, Chaos Legion packs. We'll do it that way. That's 240, so I've got enough. So I got three packs to open today. One Rift Watchers, or one Rebellion, and two Chaos Legion. All 
All right, let's go to the pack opening. And I've got no le no potions whatsoever. See, this is what the new proposal was talking about. And we got to be level 6 to even purchase them. So basically, these are the potion versions for Gladius packs, I guess. So don't have to worry about it right now. So since I have no potions, I'll just go ahead and open... And since we got so few packs, I'll open one at a time. Um, you're guaranteed a rare. So what I'm hoping for is an epic or better, legendary, uh, any gold, and summoners. And these are only a dollar a pack, so they're a really good bargain right now. There's tons of There's 2.5 million left. Oh, there you go. I got an epic. Now, any of these can be gold. So this is already a good pack. Here we go. Kaboom. Good card, too. All right. Fantastic. Let's do the last one. Of Chaos Legion. Now, when you got a lot of them, you can click right there in that double card, and that will open them all at once. But since I had so few. Oh, wow. Two epics in a row instead of a rare. Now, that means there's no summoners. That's the drawback, but so what? Good. I need to build this guy up. I use him all the time. Okay, fantastic. Okay, now let's do the Rebellion Pack. Now, potions do give you a better chance for gold and legendary, but you don't have to have them. And I would much rather use the money on something else than buying the potions because I'm going to get them in the season. I'm going to get them in other accounts. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Okay, that is a rare. Two rare. Nice. So I could have two summoners out of this pack and any of them could be gold. So let's go. Here's the first one. That is not a summoner. And neither is that one. You know, I'm not positive what level the summoners are in this deck. I'll have to find out. But, okay, so I got two rare and three regular. That's how I'm going to do it. And then one day I'll do all Chaos Legion. And that way I slowly but surely build up Rebellion and Rift Watchers. So, okay, let's go do a few battles and we'll call it a day. Uh, Bronze Dragon made a video about who owns the land. Uh, I had not paid attention to that data and it's kind of eye-opening um, something you might want to go check out if you haven't already liked and subscribed to them and also gathering the magic does the ten dollar account daily and um, where he doesn't put in any more money other than the initial ten bucks go like and subscribe and follow that there's a lot of youtubers out there a lot that you can you know learn about this game and get their strategy and what they how they look at things and learn a lot about it so okay um, I just did a battle 49 minutes ago I still got that one so you know what I'm gonna do it watch it be a surrender won't get to show off my great gaming ability. Okay, no healing. That sucks. Okay, but I'm going to use the leaf because I got her maxed out and my favorite cards are in there which are oh man, I can't use all three, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw these three in there. Okay. And then that, then I got three. And let me see if I got his. Uh, yep, I got the the chicken. You can use on any of them, but the one that's assigned to this, you know, the leaf, uh, is a little bit gonna attack at least. Okay, then let me ch pick a three. He's pretty good. This unit is immune to negative status effects. I like this guy. Let's 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put him in the very back. I'm going to put that, I'm going to put the Fungus Fiend as my tank. And then I'm going to put this guy in front. And then, but see, he had, he usually has healing, but he can't use it. Neither one of these guys can. So I don't know if there's good, I just realized that. But I'm running out of time, so let me go ahead and do, I'll, I'll do this, see what happens. Okay. So let's see how I did. I, I forgot about them. Both of those guys have healing. And I love to use healing, but they can't use it either. So I'm playing a third level uh, Ertholo. I don't think I'm going to win this one, guys, because I cannot heal. And that's all she wrote. Now, he can't even attack. See, now, usually this one would heal, and I'd win through um, fatigue, even though he can't attack in the first position. But, okay, that was on me. I should have let the uh, computer do it. So let's try the game that was 52 minutes ago. Oh, Immortalius against my fourth level. He's first level. Man, he's got a lot of bonuses, but we'll see how we do here. And just like that, my tank is gone. Oh, how could you miss? See, that was huge. That would have finished him off. That did, but a little bit too late. Too little, too late. And now he can't attack out of the first position, so I'm screwed. That miss was the difference in a loss or victory. That one, What a perfect timing to miss. Okay. That can get you heated, watching that kind of crap. Okay, here we go. This is me on the top. So fourth level against second level doesn't always mean you're going to win just because you got a higher level. It just means you can bring in higher cards. But it it's still uh, I'm getting my ass kicked on this one too. Oh boy. See, that miss, that's tremendous. Really can change the outcome of the game. Another miss. All right, now if I can start knocking out these guys. No, nope, it don't look good. Doesn't look good. Goodbye. Okay, let's try another one. So that's three losses in a row. That's keeping me from getting into Silver 2 there. So maybe tonight I'll be in Silver 2 or tomorrow morning. If I get on a win streak. Or if Splinter Mate does. Okay, this is me on the top. Second level summoner against a fourth level summoner. Another miss. That's huge. Need to get rid of this guy. Good. Need to get rid of him next. Now, I had gold card in there, so that's a bonus if I win.
Okay. Good, because he can't attack. Oh, no, he's got first position, so I was okay. Um, all right, see, I, here's the bonuses worked in there. So not bad at all. That, and this is this is silver three. It's silver one. I'm getting one SPS per battle, pretty much. Okay. Oh well, let's do this. This will show us. It used to anyway. It used to show you how. I it, I don't see it anymore. It used to show you the bonuses you're getting for each battle. Am I looking at it wrong? Oh well. All right. Well, anyway, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day, and talk to you tomorrow.